here we have a vintage Pokemon game. I've never looked into this properly. I bought it at a car boot sale for a couple of quid. And I put it into a box. Kind of forgot that it existed. But it is the Pokemon Junior Adventure Game by Wizards of the Coast. And it is from the late 90s. I think it's 98. At the time of recording this, there's a couple available on eBay. They're not worth a lot of money. Uh, it's only about £15 each. But that was a lot easier to open than I thought it was going to be. Could you imagine if it's not brand new? Oh no, it is brand new. Oh, oh, I'm intrigued. I'm very, very intrigued because it's the cards that I'm interested in because if these are in any way, shape or form gradable, it's just another nice little thing really, isn't it? So we do have Charmeleon and Pikachu. 1999 Hasbro wizards of the coast how on earth am i going to open this up without causing any damage i think i've got to sacrifice one of the cards and is it going to be pikachu or is it going to be charmeleon unless i'm very very lucky i can just get underneath like that so i don't know what cards are available i don't know what the game is uh, this is purely for the artwork that i'm looking at this for so these are quite thick I'd imagine someone out there will grade these. I just don't know who. But these do look nice. So we're going to start from the Pikachu side. We have a Pikachu. Poliwag. That looks cool. We got the back side of a Caterpie. Well, what's on the other side? I don't even check that yet. <gasps> it's the rest of the Caterpie. What? Okay, so we get two different artworks. This could prove interesting on a grade. Oh, we got the old... Chunky Chew, Growl, one hit, and then Thundershock, two hits. Oh, these are wicked, man. Poliwag, Poliwag, Caterpie, Caterpie's Bum, Nidoran, Male, and then that looks like a the artwork from an old trading card as well. And there's not a lot you can really do with Diglett, I suppose. Machop. But these aren't in Dex order, that's for sure. I haven't noticed any sort of order, to be honest. Pidgeotto. That's the old uh, jungle artwork. Raticate. These are just lifted straight from trading cards. Or whatever they had at the time. There's two Raichus? That's cool. Oh, we've got, what's this? It's a checklist. That looks like a full 150. It's... How many checklists are there? What is going on? Why is there so many? What on earth? We've got Machoke. That's a, an incredible amount of checklists. So we've got Machoke with his karate chop. Standard pose and a sleep clefable bulbasaur. Oh, we've got two bulbasaurs. Okay, there's the other one. Oh, we've got a little Charmander behind him as well. Nice standard Charmander. There we go. Lovely Squirtle. Oh, we're working our way up. Next up is a war turtle. Oh no, there's a Pidgey underneath it. Still, war turtle's cool. We'll take that. Pidgey. And then a Pidgey. Clefairy. And then a Clefairy. Jumping up the decks to Eevee. With his quick attack roll. Oh no, that's just the numbers you got to hit. Zubat and Zubat. We've got a Pikachu. And another Pikachu. Ratata. Are we going to get none of the big boys? There's no Venusaur, Blastoise or Charizard here. No. Oh, no. No. I need to find out what the other cards are. Because these just look wicked. They're just nice and different. You just don't see them very often. I know that in the last few years, Topps cards have come in. That Ivysaur is battered. Look at that. 
I mean, there's there's markings all over the card, although I think most of that will just come off. But look how poorly cut that is. That's bad. That is bad. But still, that's just really nice and interesting. So by the looks of the checklist, it does go 1 to 150. However, however, Mewtwo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so we've got Machop, Machoke, which we know about. So, yeah, this is just a full set list from this particular set. So I'm going to have to find the other sets because they must have put them in the checklist for a reason. But why, why, why do I need six checklists? Trainers, the Pokemon caught in red can be in red can be caught in Pokemon Emergency. Ah, right, it's a Pokemon Emergency. That's the name of this particular set. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. This is what happens when you don't do any research and you just turn the camera on and see what happens. But that's wicked. I like that. 